All right, guys. So I decided to mix it up from the son and daughter run, and we're going to be doing Slon the Rook first fight with, or second fight technically, with Laja, and then we're going to do Bjorn the Behemoth. I was able to beat Bjorn the Behemoth uh, at the levels I'm currently at, but the problem is I had to rely heavily on re using revival items and such, and I didn't really like that. So I'm going to take a little more time here taking on these guys. Here's our stats right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Brownie is got the good attack, still slow as hell, but he's got a lot of HP. He's the one that could take a hit. He, that's mainly what he's here for with some decent steady attacking. Slime is our mixed support. Has good attack at the moment, but he doesn't have the it doesn't have the best strength uh, compared to the other the other monsters. It just has really good weapon choices here. So, and then we have our Jayla, our Jailcat, doing. They're basically going to be our strong arm in the part, fast strong person in the party, because they do will get more strength than Slime and Chimera, but they won't get more than brownie but they will be fast and have a little bit of limited magic to help heal if they need be so that's where they're at and uh chimera here is doing okay uh, mainly are going to be our healer i have them on the meteorite arm bracer so they could be speedy healing if need be they also can attack pretty damn well to be honest uh i'm not i don't have it equipped at the right weapon for this fight this fight's going to be very easy it's going to be just uh a cheese fest uh, Wack is on the Ionosphere. You can get that at Wheelbrook. Magic Armor, which we got at Lofty Heights. I think Flame Shield was the same. And Thinking Cap, but I think we found that. But you could also buy it at Lofty Heights as well. I left on Crude Image. You don't need it for this fight, but it's there. Don't worry about the other items. Just I try to keep a leaf on him just in case he needs to revive somebody. He's the strongest for it. Um, we have Gutrude. Gutrude's going to probably be on these for a while. Uh, Metal King Sword's the best weapon, so they're always going to almost be on that, except for wild battles for Flame Tang Boomerang. Um, got the Slime Curio. The Slime Curio is like probably better than their best armor, which is Magic Armor. That's the best defense, but this kind of covers more elements, technically, because it's 10-15 HP per round, and that's basically what you're minusing when you put on Magic Armor, so eh. Magic Shield would also help with that too, so that's their shield for now. They're probably going to get upgrades to Silver Shield. And Top Hat. Uh, they have, there's, we have better armors, but yeah, don't need it. By the way, I also got Fairy Foils for everybody. Uh, I'll probably reference, mention that later because we're probably going to need them. And then we have uh, Icicle Dirk on Jayla with the Happy Hat, which I think we found. Ooh, I can't remember where. I want to say probably one of the elf areas. And the flowing dress is the best they armor that they'll probably be having for the rest of the game. There might be one more higher, but this is pretty damn good. They have the Staff of Salvation, but they probably won't be using it this fight. They will be like more of a... I'll probably be passing that to the slime at some point. I just had it on, on Jayla because they're fast. And Yigleaf and all that. Uh, and... Oh yeah. The Terror Crow is the main thing. We're cheesing it again. Because Slon is susceptible to it. And then we have Kim our Chimera... I put the fairy foil on them because they could actually equip it. They have their basically all, some of their best gear already. I think there might be one weapon better right now they, they can get later. But Hermes hat, best hat they can wear. Flowing dress, pretty sure it's the best armor that they can wear. And then meteorite arm bracer, that, so they're going to be equipping with that. Uh, they're mostly going to be attacking and healing. So why don't we just get this over with? I bet you that explanation is going to be... Well, maybe it won't be longer than the battle, but it's almost as long as the battle. So, main thing is... Since Wacka only attacks, I left him on fight wisely, so I don't have to worry about inputting anything on him. Uh, we're going to have Slime Kabuff once. Maybe twice would be safer, but you only need one. Um, Jayla's going to Terror Crow basically every round, and when they're not healing, Kim is going to be attacking. Alright. Yeah, as you can see, Kim and Wacka have pretty much similar attack at the moment. And... I'm just going to go ahead and attack, terror, and attack. That's all we're going to be doing. When uh, he does get a hit in, we're going to let him go ahead and heal. The only thing is, even with Kabuff right now, uh, Slon can two-hit KO anyone that isn't Wacka. If I Kabuffed more, we'd be safe, absolutely safe, but you don't need it. That'll be different for when we have to fight, like, Laja, probably. 
yeah, right now, yeah, now Waka is in danger. So we'll go ahead and full heal. I could use instead, like, the Staff of Salvation, but it... Don't worry about having to use it. You waste more turns having to use it. It's mostly just to save MP or give it to someone that can help heal. I'll probably be giving it to Gutru much, much later. Alright, yeah, so attack, terror, and attack. Oh! He outsped it, uh, which means he's going to be stunned for this next round. So why don't you attack? Why don't you self-heal, since he's going to be stunned this round, and you attack? Ooh, nice! Yeah, sometimes Slon is going to outspeed us. Accelerate would be good here, probably, or maybe giving the Terror Crow to Kim instead, but eh. Why muddy things up? Uh, he's immune to sap, so we can't really do much here. And we don't have oomph. I might be using packs of punches, those item oomphs in future battles, but I, it's so not needed here. Uh, we're okay still. We could just attack still. Yeah, just... This is this is the fight. Uh, it's not that bad. Thanks to uh, his weakness to the Terror Crow, anyway. I imagine Lodge is going to be a lot tougher. <laughs> so... But I'm trying to make it so I don't have to rely on... Usable... Oh, damn it. I'm mixing up my things. Usable items, which is why I didn't... There we go. Yeah, I'm done. That's why I didn't show off the Bjorn fight at the lower levels I was at. Because... I had to use a lot of gig leaves and a couple elfin elixirs that didn't feel deserved at the moment. So I wanted to pick up the Staff of Salvation first before doing that. And then I was like, you know what, why don't I just do Slon the Rook and Lodja then? Since I had to pick it up. In order to get here, I had to pick it up there first, so eh. But alright, I'll meet you at the Lodja fight next. Alright guys, we're at Lodja now. I have a decent strategy. It's a little... Um, it's not so much cheesy so much as setting up buffs like I did last time with Son and Daughter here. So, for this fight, uh, everyone has their fairy foils, just like I showed off with uh, Slon the Rook. Equipment hasn't changed, but I did... I also brought in packs of punches. I think I gave everyone a little bit of some. But also, everyone has at least a, one Yig Leaf, if not more, and a couple Elf Elixirs or Magic Waters. Um, Slime is going to be playing mostly support this round. It's going to be uh, Gu Gutrude and Kim that are playing Healy. And Jayla will help in the beginning, but that's about it. Uh, but mostly going to be using the Fairy Foil. And again, also has a Pax of Punch to give oomph to somebody. Don't worry about it. Zenithian Sword I was considering, but we d you don't need it. I was going to like distract him to make him ba use Bounce more often. Uh, yeah, Jayla got the Fairy Foil, like I mentioned, and a Pax of Punch. And... Our Chimera is going to be equipping the Fairy Foil. They may use the Zenithian Shield at some point, but they don't need to. And a couple packs of punches and Elfin Elixirs, because Kim may run out of MP if we have to multi-heal too often. We want to try to avoid that. But, alright. So, that should be it. The strategy just is going to be buff up as much as you can and let it loose. All right, so Fairy Foil, Kabuff, Fairy Foil, and Fairy Foil. I would just Kabuff the whole time, but it takes a little bit to build it up. Uh, this is a case where... Yeah, you go ahead and Fairy Foil one more time. You Kabuff. We're going to have Jayla go ahead and throw a mid-heal towards Wacka because Wacka can handle it, and... You're going to defense up again. Alright, Kim is at max defense at the moment. Alright, uh, let's see. He's going to take his packs of punch now. You're going to kabuff one more time. Jayla will mid-heal Gutrude. And this will also help Gutrude get extra... Uh, defense. We're going to have Kim use the Zenithian Shield now. There we go. Alright, now that that's taken care of, he's he's going to be just... Wacka's just going to be slowly whittling away. Uh, so he'll be using fighting wisely so I don't have to control him anymore. 
Gutru needs to Kasap. Uh, Jayla. We're going to pack a punch themselves. And you are going to full heal Wacka. One, and... Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's see. Get another Kasap. You're going to be just attacking now. Actually, why don't I go ahead and... Oh, wait, no, no. I don't want to do that. Sorry. He's going to attack. You're going to full heal. I was going to put Jayla on fight wisely as well, but uh, Jayla's got more that they can do than that. So. All right, not bad. Defenses are completely down. Uh, let's see. Anyone need to be healed? Not really, no. So we can actually just go all out now. You got nothing else? All right. We're not going to pack a punch Kim or Gutru. We don't really need to. We just want... We had the... I had the extras just in case. That's all. Okay. You're going to go ahead and heal Jayla. And everyone else can attack. Essentially, we want to try to save Kim's MP for multi-heals when it comes up. Because it will come up when he decides to remember... Oh, he has a breath attack. So... <laughs> But for now, Wacka and Jayla are just going to go all out on the attack part. Though so he seems to be... Lodge just seems to be a little dumb at the moment with uh, what he's doing. Just attacking at the moment. Alright. That's still okay. Go ahead and heal Wacka. That's the painful part. Yeah, every, mm. yeah, we have to multi-heal. Uh, in which case, we'll have you two just attack, and you go ahead and multi-heal. <clears throat> yeah, this is where multi-heal is really good. It depends how the hits go. Like, now we're, that's not too bad. Uh, Gucci could just heal themselves here. And, yeah, you can just get away with not attacking, not healing. Wacka could have died there, <laughs> actually, but, eh, not a big deal. Anyway, Bishop Lodja is defeated. <sighs> yeah, since he has a disruptive wave, it's not too bad. I'm not looking forward to fighting his next form, because when he does Burning Breath, every single one of these guys is susceptible to being paralyzed, so ugh, that'll be tough. All right, anyway, I think the next fight will be probably Bjorn the Behemoth, so I'll probably see you there. Yeah, probably, yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, guys, we're here at Bjorn the Behemoth. Uh, I haven't leveled up much since Lajo, but we can fight him without overly depending on Yig leaves and... I guess we do have to abuse Elfin Elixirs at least twice. I did in my test run anyway. But anyway, for this one, we have to bring our hero monsters with us. It's not great. But uh, this means that Jayla can't join us. I chose not to bring Jayla because even though Jayla has pretty good attack and all that and some healing, we need someone that can buff. We need someone that could heal, and we need someone that could take a couple of hits as well as do, do good attack, and that's where these three come in handy. Jayla's kind of in the middle at the moment. Technically, when I did this last time at the lower levels, I was able to do it with Jayla, Gutrud, and Kim, but I had to do a lot of more reviving, and so this is where Wacka's bulk is going to come in handy. All right, uh, for this fight, we're going. I still have fairy foils on everyone but Gutrud because Gutrud has kabuff. That's just in case like we fall behind on our kabuffing. We're going to have to fight against him kasapping us. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, Wacka's gonna be having backup stuff, mostly just revival stuff, because he could take a hit, just in case some shit gets really bad. But for the most part, he'll be just fighting and packs of punching himself to get double attack. And also one elf in elixir. Slime here, once again, support role here, Staff of Salvation to help spot heal a little bit. Zenithian Sword's gonna be needed, because we got a disruptive wave when he buffs too much him on himself. This one's a little more interesting that I threw in. Originally, I had this on Kim, but then I realized Kim doesn't really get kasapped often. The Dark Shield casts Absorb Magic on the user, so this is a good way to get keep Gutrude's MP up, because Gutrude's going to be using Kabuff and Kasap a lot. 
So anytime the Guju gets Kasapt, she can get her MP back at least. A little bit of MP. And she doesn't need much, so it's it's just a, like a little bit of extra MP back as you go. Um, but otherwise, she'll be prayer ringing for herself, elf and elixiring for Kim. And a packs a punch just in case uh, we need Gutru to do that for somebody. And then we have Kim. Originally I had Kim on the Dark Shield, like I mentioned, but it doesn't really it doesn't really work as often because Kim has some resistance to sap. So she's gonna have the Zenithian Shield. That's gonna be after she's completely buffed up with defense. And once she is, that's when she's going to be using Bounce so that anytime he Kasaps, we'll get a Kasap on him too. It helps keep up with the Kasaps at least. One packs a punch, of course, and a couple elephant elixirs, and a lot of yig leaves because Gutrude may die. Kim should be okay if we can get the defense up, her defense up fast enough, and Wacka might die if we accidentally forget to uh, um, heal him at the right time. And that's how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna go ahead and get through this now. I'm gonna do you guys a favor and not make you walk, deal with the. Uh, Bjorn running up to us, so I'll meet you when the fight starts. Alright, here's the fight. Alright, once again, Monster's not allowed to contribute, so he's just going to hold up his stone go ooh. Uh, Paxa, we're going to actually start with defense up on him. We're going to buff with you, and we're going to get your defense up as well. Ooh, Wacka's defense already maxed out? Interesting. Oh, wait, no, that was Monsters. I forgot. He has so little defense. All right. Um, Wacka, you're going to go ahead and pax a punch yourself. Gutrude, I want you to do do another kabuff. And actually, we should be okay. You kabuff. And... Yeah, you know what? Fairy full just to save, for safety. We should be okay here, but we still can have some bad luck. And, of course, he already kasapped. All right. Now, all he's going to be doing is attacking unless something happens. So, we're going to do that. You need to kabuff again. Uh, but you know what you're going to do? You're going to go ahead and use Dark Shield for now. And you should use the Zenithian Shield. Gutrude might die here. 4 MP. Good. That's... That gives a... Oh, yeah. And that bounce just came in handy there. He just kasapped himself. Good, good, good. Keep attacking. You can buff. The bounce will also help Gutru get their defenses back faster. And you know what? Safety heal. Quick, small mid heal on Wacka. Okay, you go ahead and attack. Uh, defense is not completely up yet. You could afford to get sap, but you should probably... Hmm... You know what? Yeah, you go ahead and Kasap anyway. I'm going to have you Fairy Fall again. I don't remember if her defense is up. Yep, okay, her defense is maxed. We're good. Ooh, he's get. We're falling behind. Go ahead and Zenithian Sword him. And you spot heal yourself. Ouch. Okay, that could have been bad. Yeah, that's the one problem when Gutrude is needing to do all this stuff. You go ahead, uh, you should start kabuffing again, and you should full heal Gutru. Oh, come on, asshole. Ugh. Yeah, we need to Zenithian Sword again. I'm going to go ahead and full, full heal. Ah, uh, bounces off. Okay, uh... Yeah, she went down. Uh, that's normal, honestly. And it's not a big deal. Her defenses weren't up that high. Two, three. Okay, we're good. You got a kabuff, and you should full heal Wacka. Alright, we're okay. Attack. You should go ahead and get Dark Shield up. And you should get the Zenithian Shield up. It sucks not to have Insulate, I can tell you that much. Oh, multi-heal time. Th this could have easily 
get us killed often the way I'm playing, by the way. I'm just kind of playing a little bit on the reckless side. Got a multi-heal. Um, if he decides to attack twice, he could instantly kill Gutrude, basically. Ugh. Bomb behind again. Zithian sword. Uh, his defense is up at the moment. Your defense is all the way up. You go ahead and freezing Blizzard. That, because, uh, the attack wouldn't be very good. Ugh, again! He's being kind of a dick. Zenithian Sword, and just a spot heal on yourself. Kim should be fine from attacks, for the most part. It's mostly just, if he decides to lightning twice, that's about, like, 120. So, it's like, ugh, you gotta be careful. Alright, I want you to kabuff, and I want you to spot heal again. We're using mid heal just to use less MP. Ouch, 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 yep, and okay. We're alright still. This is that's gonna be yet another uh, multi heal though. Keep kabuffing and you should multi heal. Alright. Gutrude's got the defense all the way up, but now it doesn't anymore. Oh, and it actually affected Kim this time. That's not good. But you got your MP back, so you can do a kabuff easy enough. Get... Oh, bounce, damn it, I forgot. I just realized her defense is going to be down. Get your MP. Lower his defense, good. Go ahead and kabuff. Uh... Hmm, actually, I'm going to go ahead and have you... No, 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 not Zinthian Sword. Go ahead and just self-heal yourself so you can get Fairy Foil and get your defense back up. Alright, you're okay, that's good. Got buff again, and we're going to full heal Wacka. But yeah, that's a good way to keep Gutrude alive is to have that bounce spell up sometimes. MP back. Very good. The buff and should I spot heal? Kim should be fine. Gutrude might be in a little bit of danger. I'll go ahead and just spot heal you. Uh, yeah, now it's multi heal time. All right, his defense is all the way down at least. Uh, yeah, you're gonna keep attacking. Your defenses are down, so you got to buff, and you need to multi heal. I got I only have one more multi heal before we need to uh, restore MP. All right, we're okay-ish for the most part here. I'm gonna have you. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, kabuff, and go ahead and full heal Waka. I think I'm out of multi heals now. Very good. Oh, hold on. Are we out of multi-heals? Oh, no. We have just enough. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to look for. In that case, go ahead and just kabuff again, and you can... Oh, wait. No, don't. You... This is the time for you to elf an elixir, and then you can multi-heal. Okay. Get your MP back. Good. Oh, bounce is down. All right. All right, you go ahead and attack. Kabuff. Ah, I didn't want to defend. Damn it. Kabuff. Okay. Game. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I forget where it. When it, sometimes it likes to decide to save my cursor position, it kind of messes me up a little. All right, his defense is still a little bit down at the moment. That's okay. We need to keep kabuffing. You go ahead and spot heal yourself, just to be safe. Alright. Ooh, that hurts. Keep attacking. I'm going to have you spot heal yourself, because Kim should be fine. Full heal, Wacka. I'm, tr I'm trying to avoid having to multi-heal, because, again, it's pretty expensive. You can full heal yourself. 
All right, now he's going to be out of the damage range again. You got to attack. You got a Znithian sword. Why don't you freezing blizzard? It's a steady amount of damage at least, and it ignores the defense up. Oh no, multi heal time, huh? Uh. Ooh, good. He starts with the defense down at least. You go ahead and attack. You could buff. I'm gonna safety multi heal. We don't need to, but I'd rather be safe than sorry here. Uh, bounces down. Go ahead and attack. Keep buffing, and you need to full heal. You know what? You heal him so you can get your bounce back up. He should be okay? Okay. He didn't decide to attack twice. That would have murdered Wacka and then have to pack the punch set up again. Alright. Full heal. I think it's a pretty well-oiled machine right now. There are still some risks and all. Okay, keep attacking, keep kabuffing, keep full healing. Good thing Kim has pretty good MP. Two, three. That's not too bad. We can get away with you just self-healing each. Again, Kim should be fine, but it's just a little dangerous with the lightning attack. Ugh. Okay, there we go. A little, a little bit scary there. Um, I, my strategy is definitely not flawless in this regard at all. But this is probably the best I could do with this team. And again, on a, it's not like it. This is impossible in any case because uh, if I really wanted to, I could just fill everyone with yig leaves and just attack and revive, attack, revive. You really could do that if you wanted to. But that was a strategy I figured out with this. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. The next fight, I think, will be Queen Furs. I'll see you then.